And hopefully we're back. Hopefully. Um, yeah, man, because it looks like it's working. Bro, bro, it's... I don't know what's going on, man. It's just some trash, man. You mm-hmm. know, I keep... I, I think I'm going to use this video as a plight to the people. <laughs> Donate to our cause. You can go through please, Patreon. Please, You can please. check us out on, on Twitch. You can stream labs. Everything Baron J67 and T. Jones with the placeholder thing in front. Shut up. It's an X. <laughs> So it's they go X, donate to T the wrong Jones. person. Ah. Hey, X T Jones. That's yeah. <laughs> see, that's what's so bad about it. Like it's like I'm T Jones, but the only way you can send me money is X T Jones. <laughs> it get all it gets serious when I gotta like, give like when now, you gotta man, send. I repeat, it's old, it's T Jones, but there's an X in front of it. <laughs> but when you go when you when you donate, make sure. Yeah. Donate to the X is right there. X. I'm only gonna accept the X T Jones when you donate. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, no nah, man, I'm, I'm like, I don't think it's my system. I think it's user error. And you know, you know what the bigger issue is? I do so much through my setup. Yeah, that like the computer is trying to remember what's what, and then you know, I rarely properly turn it off. So it's yeah. so like probably uh, like no lie i unplug it and put it in sleep mode okay see i p- unplug and i shut it down see yeah that's that's probably why your setup never like tries to figure out what it was set up b- before wakes then, up scratching its head like uh. yeah like wait hold on was i har- like and then the yeah man it's bad this uh, was this week was the first week in a long time that i, I left my whole I left my PlayStation or my PlayStation turned off, but my lap, but my computer was on for a whole week, from Tuesday to Tuesday. <laughs> it was on. Oh, so it was yeah, working. man. I it just it kills me. Mm-hmm. Um. So guys, we've oh, this is Adventures of the Black Nerds. <laughs> I'm Baron J Six Seven. I'm T Jones. Yeah, you know, it's, introduction only, super late. But yeah, because we are just we've been shooting the podcast super late. Yeah, bro. Like we we just on it. So yeah. we off camera, we just had a serious discussion about games. We talked about we weren't going to buy them. We're probably going to fold and buy. <laughs> we going to buy them. I, I I just I don't know, man. This you got to get them. You got to. The peer pressure yeah. and just try to, you know, and then you see all the memes and you want to get in on the memes. I want to, I want to ha ha No ha, one wants to be left LMAO out the loop. <laughs> and, yeah. It, I'm watching all these memes and I get them, but I didn't experience it. So it's yeah. not as funny. I'm probably going to be all super late at work. Like, ah, you see this one? And they're like, yeah, yeah. that was what, the day it came out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, so we're talking about Resident Evil 2, and we're even debating on Anthem. That one's still in the air. Yeah. Um, Anthem, Anthem, it's a lot to say about that game, man. Um, they're in the position to not only shed to bring some good light to EA, but also they're they're in a good position to learn from, you know, the community that they're trying to dive into, I believe, too, so... Hopefully, you know, the conversation me and you had off camera about Anthem um, was a little bit more straightforward. But to be honest, they could learn if they if they learn from the games and the in or the community that they're trying to cater to, they'll be all right. Are you there? Uh Oh, Um, see. More technical difficulties. More technical difficulties. Hold on, let's try to get um let's try to get B back into the picture. I don't know what happened just now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell just happened? I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. I, I, I don't know. We're I here. don't know. But we're so, back. Yeah, we're, we're still, still here. here. We're uh, still rocking. Just- technical difficulty i feel like tone's either gonna like leave that in or he's gonna like completely rip that out and make Tone, it sound I'm, I'm sorry brother i don't understand what is happening here it's life man life life is kicking us in the ass but it's all good it's just you know after the first year two year blues like mm-hmm. it, that's all it is um but okay so yeah anthem 
Um, I don't know. I'm so iffy. Like, it looks fun. I, You know what it is, bro? I'm going to be real with you. I think I became jaded by video games. Okay, how so? I think I expect the world when they can only give me their version of it. I, I'm... I just, I mean, as an adult, like now, you you start to hear what some of these uh these developers, how much like what what's back in these developers, how much money is back in these developers, and you start to think like, bro, you, there's no way you should, you know, I should be, I I shouldn't, I should always expect the world, you know what I'm saying? Like to be honest, hey, ooh, and you know what? That's a good point that somebody brought up. They were like. Should we have to float the cost of their mismanagement of money? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, I think at this current rate, like at this current day and age, I want to say Destiny has has been spending the most amount on uh, marketing. Um, when that money, that money could have been more guns. That money could have been more game modes. It could have mm-hmm. been Rift. Like it could. Like, <laughs> 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 it's not, it's uh, <laughs> it like, kind of did. Like, like, give us no, that raft. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like that, that when you drop in a quarter of your budget or a measurable <laughs> a measurable amount of what it costs to make the game on marketing. When first off, you ain't even got to market that hard this day and age. You really don't. Like, have you seen a Fortnite commercial? I mean, you do now. But it's yeah. it's more it's not even gameplay it's like ninja holding a galaxy phone. I, I, or, I hear what you're saying, but I'm a, I'm gonna tell you I I'm gonna tell you why I think that like like big in big games like that with like a big publisher behind them have to do that is because they have expect they have expected numbers that they need to reach. Uh, so it's like. Makes- stockholders you know what i'm saying it's like hey listen we need we need to do whatever it takes to get to this number yeah and if spending this amount will get us to this number then we'll be fine but and i and i'm pretty sure they go into it game plan for at for like some type of uh advertisement but even advertising nowadays is is what it ain't commercials and stuff like that that stuff's easy yeah, it yeah. literally is. All right, let's get this YouTuber and this uh-huh. Twitch streamer and fly them on out. And they don't even the- gotta pay them, bro. They just bro. drop them some free loot and an bro. experience, bro. like. And, th- or, and I feel like they be like, "Hey, listen, man. You know, you know that gun that you ain't got yet. That you, you know, you kind of want." I don't doubt it. <laughs> hey. No lie, I can't wait till I get to that point when they like, hey, you know, hey, Baron J six seven. We see you got a little following, you know. Um, go ahead and get this game at eighty. Yeah, give it a, not a ninety. We ain't gonna tell you to give it eight. Mm-hmm. Give it eight, <laughs> and I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm selling out. I'm gonna sell out so goddamn fast. I can't wait. I'm gonna come over here looking like Gator. <laughs> 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 Can't wait to sell out on y'all. Oh, man. I'm over here with an EA tattoo on my cheek. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you know you made it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a gold chain. It's gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna have a gold chain. It's gonna have a PlayStation logo. Then I'm gonna have a platinum chain. It's gonna have a Microsoft logo. Oh, I can't wait to sell out on y'all. I'm here. That Baron J six seven is so bougie. Dale's most followers ever. Like he don't even talk to his fan base no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Just know I can't wait to sell out. Oh, what you mean, Thanos? I can kick it with you. I can kick it with Thanos? Oh, I'm like, there. Like, oh, we're going to fly you. you going to fly what? <laughs> you going to fly me? Like, oh, man. This new version of uh, Pac Man is the best game <laughs> ever. Of all time. Why are but, you playing anything but, else? But, but see, I'm I think like I think like that because of the amount of YouTubers that say the same thing over yeah. and over and over again about every game. Man, it's the But you know but you know what else? You know how they guide the conversation? Like okay, all jokes aside, what I'm learned from watching um for example, Anthem what I've seriously learned and the way you create and force the narrative, bro, 
is you don't even have to force like be over here greasing people off. You just give them the same content and you tell them exactly what they can't talk about. Mm -hmm. So now you got everybody singing in the same song and you didn't even they're not even working together. Yeah. They didn't even get greased. They just signed an NDA saying, okay, you're not going to talk about this. You can't talk about that. But you can talk about this. Yeah. And if everybody got the same slice of gameplay with the same characters in the same fashion, I, it just dawned on me. They're, they're getting, it's like you're you're puppeteering people without even trying. Yeah. I mean, and, and I, I, but see, I think they, I think they try to do it because. I was expecting some honest reviews on it, like some straight up like this is Warframe. This is this. This is that. And it really wasn't. It was a whole bunch of YouTubers saying the same song and dance about how, you know, uh, um, oh, it, it feels amazing. The third person's perspective isn't something that hinders you. And. Like, no one brought up the fact that you can't fight underwater. Like, that Wait, may sound minuscule to you, but, but that's, that, that's epic like, to me. That was you, one of the first things they did in their reveal was... That was the major highlight, you know, going underwater. Dove underwater. Like, you, I can't... I think we've already talked about this before, but... Mm -hmm. We did. Like, no one no one brought that up. No one brought up the fact that uh, it... Um, or I only heard one YouTuber talk about it. And you still have to understand that what they were playing was a VIP beta. Sure. It wasn't even the beta. So this was a closed beta for a certain few that got the got the code, just like when Destiny... And all the login issues they were having. Exactly. That, so nobody talked about that. Yeah. I only heard one YouTuber bring it up. But Actually, I mean... And you know what? I, I shout this guy out a lot, even though he probably doesn't know I exist. But uh, Maddie, Mr. Maddie Plays... He actually, the first, like, three minutes of his video was talking about how it took five hours just to get to the beta. Yeah. So, I will, I'm not going, I'm okay, not going to So, that, that gonna, would be two then because yeah. it was another guy that I listened but, to. That, but this is that. a problem, though. And, you know, I'm sorry I keep interrupting you, mm -hmm. but just to kind of paint the scope for people, you are ears to the ground in the YouTube and gaming world. Like, me, I will, I'm there, but not... Not to the extent that you are. So when yeah. you tell me that you didn't see anybody talk about that, I can almost say you've watched five different YouTubers give yeah. their full description it, of their it experience. It was well over more than that. Because see what I'm saying? The reason Because I want to let people know like it's not just us talking out our ass. Like You seriously. And I'm going to tell you. Folks, um, just know. When he tell y'all something, he's... He, he really looked at it. I, I, so when he said he ain't seen no YouTubers, it's not like me watching two people talk about it. Yeah. Watching three. IGN, GameStop, or Game uh Game Informer and um and Mr. Maddie Plays. Like I'm no. a, I'm gonna tell you why but I you know what I didn't even watch I didn't even watch IGNs. Because mm -hmm. IG I don't know they they're more on the professional end, so they're not gonna waste their time with stuff like that. Because that's almost like expected. It's a True. closed beta. It's not the full game yet. They're going to have problems. Blase, blase. But at the same time, it was something that I, I say this about every major title when they first come out. The first day of a release or of a beta is always the worst. True. Because there's so many different people trying to get on, so many different people across the world, especially if it's an online only game. Um, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's getting on. Everybody's trying to play. Everybody's trying to load up with their few. Everybody's trying to figure out queuing process and all of that. So, well, you know, I just didn't hear nobody. I didn't hear nobody say it. So that kind of, you know, I, I it didn't leave a bad taste in my mouth, but it kind of put me in. All right, well, now we know where y'all where you guys stand. There isn't any. You guys aren't open to let us know exactly what was going on. But I'm hearing, I'm hearing game of the year already. Ooh. I'm hearing uh, Ooh. people talk about how how it's uh, the the it is going to be better than a in X Y and Z video game. Ooh. I'm I'm at this point of like we can't do that. Like the game I'm ain't a, even here yet. I'm gonna be real with you. What would truly have pumped me up about Anthem 
is if they wouldn't have they wouldn't have this major push that they're having, mm-hmm. and if they didn't even really talk about it, if EA didn't put all this marketing and push behind Anthem. I think it would personally sell more, yeah. and it would be received better. Like, oh my God, EA just dropped this AAA level title, and didn't do AAA level marketing. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's check it out. I could totally see more people because first off, the formula we know works. Warframe, Warframe. We did you you ran Warframe with me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we talked about fishing for four hours and all <laughs> that. Okay. The fact that. I didn't even get into the full meat of Warframe. Like yeah. I barely got my arc wing. I bear it was your arc wing and in, in Warframe, for those who don't know, is the ability like space flying missions. You basically get these giant like um uh endless waltz Gundam wing wings attached to your character and you fly around and you're all got a big ass sword and beating ass in the quiet de- depth of space. Yeah. Um but I barely unlocked that. Even though I did complete a major portion of the game, but I still feel like I didn't. You know, with all online only games, the common theme is the game doesn't start until you beat the story. Of course, and that's and what I didn't Warframe even get close to beating the story. In yeah, Warframe. we you only, you be, you you beat the introduction. I beat the introduction. <laughs> that's like, it to let you know, like, hey, this is Warframe. Oh, you fought a major boss. That's cool. Yeah. Now let's try and get you a dog. Now yeah, let's try companion. and get you yeah. this. Now let's let's see if you can unlock more Tenos or more Warframes or uh, or even attempt to find the materials to build another to build a certain weapon and Bruh. oh oh wait you didn't know there's dojos where you can build <laughs> whole teams and set up your own base and yeah. build and then you guys can bank money into the base to keep the base running and to promote and boost your weapons and mm-hmm. this and that so we know this formula works. And we know it can get hours invested, but now the next question is, why do I want to put $60 on the table, or however much if you game share or whatever, but why would I want to drop that on the table when I can just jump back into Warframe for free? Yeah, you you know how many people I, I was talking to, not only outside of video gaming, and, and even, in, uh, even in some lobbies of uh, playing play, a video gaming this week? Didn't mm. even know, don't didn't know shit about Warframe, and that's it, that's kind of shocking. That's Warframe sin. What if what if EA pulled the ultimate ultimate dick move and rebuilt and rebranded Warframe and added a couple elements to it and put the commercialization behind it, mm-hmm. and now people over here are paying for something they can get better for free. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, I felt like Robot Ninja of the goddamn century running across that open world in the free version of Warframe. Yeah. And you, uh, that's not beta. It's the full game. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, though, one one uh, one guy that I was listening to did make a he did make a um, a statement and he talked about uh, why Anthem. You see how you said you felt like you were Ninja of the century. Why? Yep. Anthem makes it a he it makes it apparent that you're strong that you are uh, you're in a suit yeah that you are this thing that can take on giant monsters and planets gotcha. and shit because of the abilities that you have and the way you can access your abilities and the way you can can dish out your abilities whether you want to be a I think there was an interceptor or a colossus and uh, I'm missing one more uh, type of anthem but they. They made it apparent. Even watching Javelin. gameplay, Javelin. Javelin, yeah, the Javelins. Um, even watching it, literally, you barely saw gunfights. You only saw you mostly. I'm seeing weird shit like sonic booms and blasts, and yeah, you know, You're shields. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ah, dang, that's that's a lot of stuff going on. I don't know what's going on right now. So it, they, I guess, within that, they made it seem like, okay, listen, you're powerful. You know, and he made it apparent to to let to let his viewers know that hey, this is why there's no PvP to it because of how strong you are. Like imagine being, you know, how many people would call, would scream overpowered, OP'd, 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 because mm-hmm. yeah, you're supposed to feel OP, 
But, you know, when you start dealing in that realm of PVP, everything needs to be balanced because now this person is stronger than me because he has this piece of equipment or gotcha. his character does this and that and the third. So I, I, that was a good point to make because of that. Like, yo, and he and this was my thing was he was like he was so amped like, yeah, I feel so strong and I can do this and I'm able to fly. And I'm like, bro, but that sh it looks and it it looks just like Warframe. Like <laughs> you do this shit yeah. Warframe. <laughs> Yeah, and um, for all those who haven't experienced Warframe, it is on PC for free. It is on Switch for free. It is on um, console, Xbox, all, all, all your general consoles. Like, and it's something to experience. And I feel like if you want uh, a glimpse into what Anthem could potentially be without pre-ordering. I would say go play Warframe and just imagine yourself being somebody said they felt like it was the ultimate um, Iron Man game. I feel like I've said that a, a few times, but that's that's the coolest statement I got that stood out to me, period. They're like, it's the Iron Man game you've always wanted. Mm -hmm. And and I was like, I could I could see that from watching the gameplay, hearing people talk about it. I'm like, OK. I, I get I get totally where you're coming from and why you would say that. Yeah. And I'm not mad at it. I want the I want the game to win, man. I, I, I love I, want, I love seeing games win. I want, uh, but for the right reasons. I want it to win too. I don't I don't think I think it has a place in this realm of uh sure. of video gaming that we're in now. I, it really does have a place. It's just that I think some of the things that BioWare and 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 or EA, some of the decisions that they made, um, and I'll I'll touch on one, which is like them trying to market to Destiny, other well, let me just not just Destiny, but other video game communities was the worst thing that they possibly could do. Instead they, of just making a game for themselves, exactly. If they would have just made a game, or or even tried to go out of their way to get like people who weren't tied down to a community. Um, not so many people because I, it was, it just seemed that's what it seemed like. And that's what the, that's what I'm hearing back from the YouTube community. As I watch all these videos, most of the people I'm watching are destiny YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Now, like I've said this on here before I've said this to you, destiny fans are fickle people. Mm -hmm. They, you know, what I'm saying that they, you they'll talk the they'll talk the game down into the dirt while playing it. So it's like you know they you you cater to a, a community that's already established. Why not just create a game and you know if not if not if not give it to the world to play and experience for the first time, but try to find go out of your way to not be in a box, Got you know, you. with other people. So. That was the one thing that I had to say about it. I'm just waiting for it to 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 hit. I'm not gonna. I, I'm done playing betas because you know what would would have what would have been the worst to have mm. played Anthem, and what you see is and what you played was what you got. That would have been the worst thing for me. Hey, but, and you know what's so funny? Is I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, but that worry that you have is the exact opposite. They damn near made it clear. That the game you're playing now is gonna be different, and and for me that's strange because the game comes out what in two weeks, mm -hmm. maybe three at the most. Um, I um, or actually, when does it come out? I thought I think I think it's February sixteenth. I want to say it might be two weeks, but while you're looking that up, it just it's a uh, oh, it's the twenty second. Okay, so three weeks. I, I just, I look at games, I don't know, man. And then it's so sad because EA has such a bad reputation that as soon as they put their name on this, it instantly scarred it. Yeah. And, um, and then it turns into, like, a negative thought. Like, okay, for example, the community completely talked me out of playing Andromeda. The community scared the living hell out of me because of how negative it was. That I'm like, well, I don't want to spend sixty bucks on this game if it's getting across from people I 
I respect people I've followed for years. They're sitting here bashing this game to no end. But at the same time, I had to actually learn to get over that. Like, when it came to movies, I had to stop looking at reviews. Mm -hmm. Because I'll pass out, I'll pass on something that I would have, I watched later and enjoyed. But I would have never went and seen it in theater because it got so many bad reviews. And then one thing, you know, speaking of movies, I tend to love movies that get bad uh, bad ratings on Rotten Tomato. <laughs> and then movies that get, like, perfect scores, I tend to, like, squint at. Yeah. Um, not usually. It's, you know, it's, what is it, exceptions to the rule? You know, you're the exception, not the rule. But for the most part, whenever critics love a movie, I'm like, eh, it's all right. But then when critics, like, completely crap on a movie, I think it's great. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's just me rooting for the under underdog, or maybe I don't like typical cinema stuff mm -hmm. or cli super cliche. Uh, but I don't I don't know. But with with Anthem, <sighs> I'm hoping I, I'm hoping they do fun, the right bro. thing. I want to have fun. If I could have fun with with Warframe, if they even follow the Warframe method a little bit. And Warframe, for the most part, remember up until the the like the last month we played it, it was an open world. You went into very linear levels, mm -hmm. and we had fun. Yeah, so I, I mean, can only imagine uh, the spaces and within the world they've created an anthem, which are open, big, and up vertical, horizontal. You yeah. know, underwater, which you can't fight, but it's there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can find loot. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I just I just want them I just want them to do the right thing when it comes to like sticking to their word because I don't want it to be that way where it comes out and I'm just not excited, you know what I'm saying? Like I need to feel excited when mm -hmm. I pop that game in and I start and I start playing it because I can go get the same Pretty much, they got competition. Yeah, you yeah. got competition. You're the new kid on the block. You're gonna need to show something yeah. because if you don't, what's gonna happen to your game in two months? Man, I whew. and then I want to say February is also the release of the division. Let me check. The division two, I want to say, comes out next uh, in a couple weeks. It might even be like the seventh. Let's see. I could be completely wrong. It's all June. Uh, it says uh, March. No, oh, okay, March. There's no day, no release day yet, but it's March. It says March this Are year. Are you serious? There's no street date on nope. the Division Two release date March 2019. That's all it says. Whoa. Okay, folks. For so those who don't know, when a game doesn't have a street date, like a date which stores should have it in the building, it can be delayed. I mean, hell, what did we get a whole year plus delay? Okay, with, uh, well, I found something else that says that its initial release day is set for the 15th of March. Okay. The Ides of March. TBD. Ooh, that's... Ooh. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, folks, like, that game can legit get pushed back like it could i've seen it happen red dead redemption 2 um which i'm not bothered because i trust rockstar when it comes to their delays i trust most companies with their delays unless it's over something stupid like i'm trying to think of a good example of a stupid delay um i don't know there was a yeah. big delay for final fantasy 15 oh. huge delays for that Kingdom Hearts like, just came out. Oh, there was big delays for that too. Yeah, that just came out too. So now, but, uh, okay. Mortal Kombat comes out the, in April. See what I mean? That's wild. It, that's be. okay. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts three, uh, the Division two. Days Gone is this year, right? Did they say it's the beginning? Um. I'm not sure. I this actually seems like a pretty quiet PlayStation exclusive time of year. Yeah, because they kept pushing it back. Yeah, you're right. They kept pushing the game back because it so... was supposed to come out last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Hol holiday last year. 
Let's see. Oh, why are you looking that up? What do you think the big, like, last wave of games is going to be for this generation's console? Like, the way the way the generation before this, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 ended was huge. You had Grand Theft Auto V. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, the game released, I want to say, less than a month before the new, uh, before Xbox One came out. Uh, you know what? To be honest, uh, I am not 100% sure. I think a lot of games are, pl- I think this is why you're seeing so many games being pushed back. Because they're all waiting. They're, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to f- see where the consoles are going to be heading. I I. I I thought that we were going to hear not only just like a brief announcement on it, but we were going to get to be able to see something the end of last year on the new Mm. on the the next gen console. So I think a lot of a lot of companies were waiting on that, Um, especially like especially a a Sony exclusive. You they always drop something. It's all well. Normally it's Killzone, which is I don't know why they keep bringing that game back. That flagship, <laughs> the flagship game, Slow yeah. Zone, Slow uh, Zone Three. But um, yeah, Killzone. They they normally, but what'll be what would be a game to days gone as a release for the new console? Just, Wouldn't be just bad idea. Would be a great idea. Yeah, you know, hell, if they. The, if they would have saved on hold held on to God of War, obviously they could. That would have been that would have good that new console threw, release. That would have threw them over the edge. To be honest, bro, that would have put them at such a lead. And then first off, they're already going to be at a at a like okay. And this is PlayStation for those who don't know. Uh, I keep talking like you guys know exactly what we are talking about when it <laughs> comes to God of War. God of War is a PlayStation exclusive. Yep. Now, I. Because that PlayStation 4 sold so many more consoles than Xbox, that naturally, when people transition to the new consoles, they're going to stick with what they've already, like where you built your friends. Of course. I don't know too many people who are heavy PlayStation who are going to just jump over to the new Microsoft system. Who even knows it was going to be called Xbox? Yeah, you... But, yeah, I, it it wasn't going to work with me. <laughs> yeah, see, like, and then and then I actually, ooh, I'm putting a friend of mine on blast. He finally admitted that he feels slighted by Microsoft, and I was like, yeah, bro, we proved a point that nobody should ever. We we messed up as consumers when it came to the Xbox console, mm-hmm. Xbox One. Not only did we buy multiple versions of a system, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, but we had no exclusive titles. Yeah, because Xbox, they forced it. They They did. They forced it. They should have held on. They shouldn't have. They tried to drop when PlayStation dropped, and that was their big problem. The big problem was that they had nothing. They literally became PlayStation 3 to Xbox 360. It literally reversed it, roles. It was the swap because yep. and and that's it's it's literally a race. If they would have just said, you know what, let's chill, let's let the, let's complete this, let's come up with a plan and then drop it, then that would have been better. Y'all literally got rid of y'all selling point. Yeah, the whole what, connect was, like look the connect so, is okay. gone. Yeah, <laughs> they discontinued it. Yeah. And that was the big thing that y'all sold with the whole damn thing. And I honestly, I used the hell out of my connect. Yeah, I wore it out. I was playing. I was playing um, Skyrim on the 360 with the connect. I was casting spells. I was loading up, quick swapping my swords. Yeah. Like I was living a life with that. Um, and then I, and even now, when I first started streaming on my Xbox One. My connect was the camera. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, I, that's true. You know, um, and then did you see what happened to the market once they discontinued? They stopped making the adapters, so the adapters went from being like seventy bucks, maybe less, to four hundred dollars. Yeah, cause... they they created a, a vacuum in the market, mm-hmm. 
And, you know, as soon as you say something's discontinued that you know people, even just from a collector standpoint, are going to want, you you created a whole hellhole to buy something so basic. Exactly. I mean, I just think they, they weren't ready. And that's what it was. They they weren't ready and they decided to to chase after Sony when they should have just chilled and did their thing and came back with what they needed to to propel my cuz think 360 won between that that between that time frame between uh, PlayStation yeah. 3 and 360 360 was ahead of the game i think a lot of changes and a lot of things behind the scene kind of helped sony as well i e with like competitive gaming all and of that Blu-ray stuff player. the blu-ray player um but it, i mean Blu-ray player was on the PlayStation 3 as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you said on the PlayStation. That's what you said. So yeah. I thought you were saying. Yeah, so, but, but I meant the PlayStation 360. 4. 360. With the PlayStation 4, um, I, it was a lot of stuff that propelled it. And, and it was the whole, it, it having games mm-hmm. was the biggest point, obviously. It being a game system and not an entertainment system. Because remember, that's how Microsoft marketed it. This is yep. more than this. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a system for everything. Yep. No gamer cares about that. <laughs> so keep yeah. that in mind. People was running their TV through the Xbox. Yeah. Like people were running their cable through um, the Xbox. Like everybody. I remember was like, that. Oh, I that's had dope. It. But yeah, I don't know use that shit. Set up. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no. <laughs> but hey, um, no. But this is. But this is what burned me. All the games they dangled in front of us to entice us to purchase this console either flopped or didn't come out or mm-hmm. have not came out yet. Yeah. Well. And let me give the examples. Dragonborn, what was it, Dragonbound or Dragonborn? Dragonbound. Um, that game was pushed heavy and then all of a sudden disappeared. I yeah. think that was Deep Silver Entertainment or something like that. Correct me in the comments um, or message me and let me know. And then um, Crackdown 3 barely is getting a street date, and Lord knows it can be pushed Crack, back. Crackdown 3 is set to be released in February on I, the 15th. I, I'm not going to believe it until it comes out. Mm-hmm. But the game got pushed back and delayed so many times that I don't even care. Yeah. I really don't <laughs> yeah, care. They might Just well. like I almost didn't care about Final Fantasy, uh, uh, Final Fantasy 15. Almost didn't care about Kingdom Hearts 3. They're continuing the series nine years after the release of 2010 Xbox 360's video game Crackdown 2. <laughs> hey, right. uh, what's name's going to have some uh, have a hard time coming out this month or in February because uh, Anthem comes out the 22nd. Mm. But before that... Metroid Exodus comes out same month. I, I Jump thought Metroid, Force. I thought that project got killed, or is that a different one? This is Metroid Exodus. is an upcoming first-person shooter video game developed by 4A Games and published by Deep Silver. Oh wow! Um, yeah, this says it's it's set to be released on the fifteenth. And you know what? As much as I love Gears of War, I don't want another one. Yeah. No, there's another one, not because of the story and what you want, but because of the competitive scene. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, I had somebody who really follows my streams. Uh, Shout out to Johnny Man. Um, No, it wasn't Johnny Man. It was Penguin. Shout out to Penguin and Johnny Man. Both of you guys are cool. But um, he sent me a clip from, like, him beating the snot out of people in uh online gears of war and i was like damn i never really got into it yeah i never uh, i've i've i only played online gears like twice and that was the original for me and, and that was at will's house bruh these, put it that way these like, people and these the competitive scene behind that is real like gritty and you know they like is it like underground rap? Like, almost, almost. That's like the best I, way to. I, I bro, like it's that. real crazy. Like, <laughs> you all meet up in basements of like Chuck E. Cheese's. Everybody drags their TVs down there. But it's crazy how international it is. That's dope. It's uh, Mexico. They're the they have these players are going everywhere and, and having having tournaments. 
And it's very and, successful, too. And see, and this is why, for one, even if I don't like a game, I don't completely knock it because somebody out there loves it. Exactly. And above all, have fun. Because mm-hmm. what, what else are we doing it for? Like, I was talking to, um, like, a common theme that I've brought up uh, and I, I've been talking about it a lot past maybe 10 episodes, maybe more, is the burnout of content creators and streamers. I actually had somebody talking to me, talking about how they were ready to just give up and ready to quit. Yeah. And I, and then they told me their schedule, and they're sitting here streaming for, God, randomly six hours here, eight hours here. And I'm like, bro... You're gonna kill yourself. You're doing too like, much. It, you're doing too much, and the burnout is so real. When you get to a point where you don't want to pick up a controller because you <laughs> feel like you gotta work, that's when it really is bad. Like, and the only way I got back into streaming because I do stream now, folks. Twitch TV forward slash Marin J six seven seven, and the link is in the description below. Link is in the description. I do stream. I do a lot of dad streams. It'll be me and my kids. And you'll see them in the background or hear them in the background. Uh, They're going everywhere. Berserk. Yeah, throwing stuff at me. My daughter begging me to pick her up just so she can get back down. <laughs> um, it, it just, but, but the point is, to, to get back to this point, I had to stop streaming. I would literally, I would hide my online status and just play. Yeah. Like, because I I had to get back into I'm doing this because I enjoy it. Yeah. It's a fun pastime for me. Not I'm clocking in for work. That's probably the best way to, to keep it too. Well, and this is what I was gonna say. You have to create this very weird line of this balance of okay, I'ma have a schedule and I'ma stick to it, but I'm not gonna make it a job it's mm-hmm. a weird balance you gotta have fun with it you gotta you gotta love it there you go that's the word you gotta love it yeah you gotta love the suck as gary uh as gary v would say you, mm-hmm. you know you, yeah man dude i can't wait till he wants to talk to us or Please. he's like oh yeah check out uh t jones and baron j67 the guys are dope bro I'd, I'd go crazy I'd be like, oh, shit, Gary B. <laughs> Gary B about liable to get me to wear Adidas again. <laughs> um, Just about close. Man, right there. Okay. And um, you know what, dude? Above all, I caved really hard. And this is going to be my last thought. I caved really hard. All the games I talked about, I'm not going to buy. We're getting them. We're getting them. Mm-hmm. Um uh and above and I know I talked about selling out and I would still sell out. It just wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna get an EA tattoo, but just know all of a sudden we'd be telling you to go He's buy this lying. thing. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm selling so hard. I'm um, selling out, dog. <laughs> I'm bro, sorry. I, I can't wait. I need them T shirts that don't fit. Man, all of that. Talking about, look at this cool leather backpack that I can't get over my shoulders because I'm too buff. Too big. I'm not, not buff, I'm big. Uh, too big. I can't, I can't. You see, clearly you guys can see how I see myself. Um, He said that, buff. Yeah, like, it, it rolled off the tongue. You, did you see that? I ain't did a push-up in a year. I got 22-inch guns. Bro. But, um, yeah. Man. I'm J67. And uh, I'm T. Jones, man. Um, please, if you guys get a chance, uh, all of our links are in the description before. Uh, in the description below. Also, want to shout out Tone Deaf Network. Thank you. Appreciate you. And be safe out there, everybody, because it's a cold snap from hell, which is a funny phrase, but it's not Whoa. a funny situation. Whoa, a cold snap from hell. Yeah, bro, it's it's extreme. Like we're most of the country is gonna be frozen over. Mm. Like yeah. negative, negative thirty, like crazy numbers. Yeah, it's supposed it's to rain in a couple. Of da- it's supposed to rain, and then in in a couple of days, and the day after that, it's supposed to have snow. Yep. Map, so, yep. I'm just so gonna probably stay home. Folks. I'm not yeah. dealing with that. I'm sorry. I don't have yeah. chains for my tires. Bro, I don't blame you. 
But oh, you know, what? before we go, uh, did you get a chance to watch um, uh, Punisher? No, I finished it, bro. I finished it. It was pretty epic. See, I've been trying to watch Killer Mike, Trigger Warning, mm -hmm. and um, and then I've been trying to keep up or catch up on One Piece, which feels impossible in the best way. Yeah. Um, Luffy's a goon. Monkey D. Luffy for president, because all he's gonna do is punch his way to the top. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, man. Yeah, we gotta. I'm, I'm getting awkward now. Starting to sound like my videos. Close to it. Yep. Peace. Peace.